Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Sketch on wheels. This rig's a little bit extreme. Kind of ridiculous, I know. Not going to run this. So today, we're going to show you a side rack that I purchased. And then the next video, we're going to go into the luggage that I chose as well. So on the Royal Enfield Himalayan, um, I'm wanting to do some more overnights this year. I'm wanting to do explore some more off-road adventures. And uh, my little top box here that I love, just in cutting it, I can put a little bit on the seat back here, but really it's time to get some soft luggage or some hard panniers. I'm going to install the racks today, show you what I got. They're a little bit unique. I think I'm going to like them a lot. And in the next video, I'll show you which luggage I chose. As I've looked for different racks and different luggage systems, I've gone back and forth whether to have hard panniers or have soft luggage. And I think the best thing that fits for me, especially with the horsepower on this bike, is to have some soft luggage. Uh, it's going to hold everything I need and it's going to give it a little bit of lighter feel. As far as when it comes to the racks, I think I also found some racks that are a little bit different than what most people are running. So as I searched around through the internet, I went to a couple spots. Uh, SRC Moto is a place that I, that I trust and I've bought from before. So I started looking at the racks that they had for the Royal Enfield Himalayan. And similar to what other companies are producing right now, um, they make a really nice rack, but as you can see from the diagram, they have an extra support bar in the back that requires you to either move or rewire your turn signals and your tail light. So if there was a better option out there that you didn't have to do this, that's what I was looking for. From there, I moved over to the actual Royal Enfield uh, website, looked up the Himalayan. I know they have a rack system that covers for hard panniers. I just wanted to see what their system looked like as well. And to no surprise, they had a very similar system as SRC Moto. It had the extra bar in the back. You had to move some things around, either rewire or move turn signals, do something with the tail light. I'm not real sure, but it looked identical. And so I kept looking. From there, I stumbled on happytrail.com, a company from Boise, Idaho that makes products for dirt bikes. I looked and I saw a rack system that was kind of unique for the Himalayan, and it's also fabricated in-house. So I looked at this rack and I noticed that it didn't have that back support bar. And from what I understand from the review of their own product is this is a good rack for soft luggage and you can get away without having that extra support bar. I went ahead, placed an order. It was uh, ordered in August of 2023. And it said it would be about three months until I got it, but the problem is that it did take quite a bit longer than that. They did offer to give me a full refund. Instead, I took a 10% discount on the total price. It came a couple months after that. I ended up getting it in January. If it looks like a good product and it's unique and it's something that I want specifically, I don't mind waiting the extra time. Here we are back in the garage today. Weather around Eastern Tennessee has been crazy. It's been cold. Uh, we've had many days uh, down in the single digits. And then also we got hit with seven inches of snow. So the riding conditions have been really bad. I haven't been able to get out and ride. In the meantime, we're in the garage. We got our soft luggage racks from Happy Trail. We're gonna put on a Royal Enfield Himalayan. Let's have a look. Let's we'll see what's in the box. Got our hardware. Solid steel, looks pretty good to me. We've got a couple bolts here that we have to break free. They're two, three years old. They haven't ever been moved. They're probably a little bit tight. I've got this uh, blaster penetrating catalyst. I kind of shoot that on there and it'll help me be able to free those bolts. So what we have here with these two bolts is a number six hex nut. Good old red Loctite. <laughs> Not sure I like red Loctite. Here you get a good look at the key mechanism that attaches that unlocks the pillion pad. I've got the old bolts out. Let's take a look, see what kind of hardware came with these racks. So what comes with it are some spacers here that we're gonna put. Here are the four main bolts that go and attach to the frame. And then down by the foot peg on one side um, is a bolt that you're gonna use to make that third mount on the left side of the bike. 
Now the right side of the bike, you're gonna have the bolt that attaches the muffler to that frame, and you're gonna reuse that. And of course, one more thing, we got the blue Loctite. So it shows the spacer going in between here. Then the rack, and then the washer and the bolt. There we go, we got one in. Let's move on to the next one. A little bit of blue Loctite. Let's see where we're at here. Now that's going smooth. Let's get that bottom bolt in. Another bolt washer. And this one is a kind of a, a a hex nut. So the product information doesn't give us any torque specs. So when that's the case, I do it a little bit further than snug, but we don't want to strip anything out. Because we'll be testing these after riding it a bit. But yeah, they're strong. They held up good. I didn't get anything slipping, so I'm not worried about stripping those. Um, that is solid, folks. That's like two connections to the frame here, one down to the bottom here, right by the foot peg. Um, that's not going anywhere. Looks good, let's get over to the other side. As we move to the right side of the bike, we're gonna have one bolt that's different than the left side, and that's this bolt that's attached to the muffler. So we'll reuse that. That's the muffler mount. That is solid. All in all, that was a pretty easy installation. I think the quality of the material was spot on, what I was looking for. I love the fact that I didn't have to move these taillights anywhere. I didn't have to do anything with the taillight. This was an easy, out of the box, bolt on, throw your luggage on, and you're set to go. Let me give you a little closer look. Plenty of room here between the exhaust and the rack. Plenty of room here between the light and the rack. So really it's about gonna stick out without the luggage about where your foot pegs are. It's not a crazy wide profile. The part that I like is that there's no big ugly bar between here and here to where I had to move this light or I had to move these turn signals. One other thing we can do this bike, it's gonna make those racks look a little nicer. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this gave you a different view of some side racks that are available uh, without that ugly bar behind it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave some comments, think about subscribing. We'll have another video soon that shows you exactly what soft luggage that I purchased to sling over these racks. Stay tuned, we have one more thing with Zoe. You think she'll like that? Do you have a valentine? Adeline's your valentine. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I think for Valentine's Day, I'm going to take you on a motorcycle ride. No! Yeah, that would be a good valentine present from me to you. 
No. You t you pick which bike. No. The, the, the Harley or the Himalayan? No. I want to <laughs> oh, we are mine. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 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 <laughs>